guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video, I am testing out a bunch of XX Revolution products. We've got foundation, we have a highlighter, we have a gloss, we have a humongous eyeshadow palette, which I cannot lift up because it is huge. Um, there's loads of stuff on top of it. But if you would like to see how I got this look and kind of my first impressions, thoughts, feelings, emotions towards these kind of products, then please stay tuned. Before you get into the video, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already already it means the absolute world if you are already subscribed please make sure you have hit the notification bell so you are alerted when i upload a new video i had a comment the other day saying they hadn't seen my videos in their subscription box which upsets me so please press it and then that way when i do upload you will be notified this is now suddenly a kind of full-time situation going on so hopefully i'll be uploading a lot more i'd really appreciate your support in the process but yeah if you would like to see my thoughts feelings emotions opinions I said that twice on the products then please stay tuned don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok and let's just go into the video so let's jump into everything starting off i'm using the xx fine brow micro brow definer in the shade ash brown we'll give this a little go so i'm just gonna open up the brow pencil the shade medium brown or like dark brown from revolution i can't remember which one which way round it is it's like incredibly warm tone so i'm hoping by the name ash this will be a good tone for my brows because they are actually quite cool toned Ooh, i've got nice packaging look at that that is actually really, really gorgeous. I'm just going to set the rubbish over there. That is really nice packaging. It also feels like very weighted as well. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in my brows. I haven't put soap or anything like that through them. And there's a few stray hairs. So I'm just going to go for it really and see how this goes. Oh, just kind of came out. I'll just push that back in. It's a little bit loose in the packaging, but we can make it work. a little bit too light for me but it's fine i'm just gonna fill in like the sparser areas of the brown just kind of frame the underneath the actual texture is really nice it's not too waxy either so far so good though this is actually something that i would reach for and the shade isn't too bad it's like a tiny little bit too light but if i found a different shade i'm sure this is something that i would reach for on an everyday basis i'm liking the texture it's not too waxy not too hard that you can't get any product out yeah i'm really liking this first impressions of that brow pencil I really like it. I like the fact that it's weighted as well. It just feels a lot more like luxurious. And I think it is a really nice formula. So I definitely will go ahead and use that again in the future, probably for like an everyday brow. And can we just talk about the packaging? Like how gorgeous is that? Right, so we have an abundance of concealer shades to try. This is the Conceal XX Super Fix Concealer. It's described as a crease-proof, life-proof, full coverage concealer. Conceals and brighten skin, covering blemishes, dark circles, and redness. Stretchable formula. Formula? Formula? formula with no flashbacks so the shades that i have been sent are five which on the little packaging thing at the top looks incredibly pink 5.5 5.7 6 6.5 and 6x 7. So I think I'm just going to open them all up and figure out what shade I want to use. I could probably use different shades I guess but I am going to use the concealer to act as my eyeshadow base. So I'm going to open them all up and let's see what shade to go for. These are what the concealers look like. They are really nice. I don't own any Hourglass products but they do remind me of that kind of packaging. It's a really luxurious feeling. Like I can't believe this is from a Revolution brand. I'm very excited. It's like that frosted like glass. I don't know if it is glass or plastic i think it's plastic but it looks really luxurious the shade c5.7 is very yellow which looks like that and then i'm trying to see if i've got any different numbers to try and get a feel for the shades so this here is cx.5 and putting it out of the packaging it's definitely not that pink in real life so i could even use this as my eyeshadow base and then maybe 5.5 under the eyes which is this one right here the darkest shade i have is cx7 which is this one which i could use when i have a little bit of fake tan so i'm very excited how i have like an abundance of shades to choose from i'm going to go in with the cx5 shade the pink one as my eyeshadow base. I'm just going to take this brush from P. Louise. It comes from their small mirror mirror brush collection. I'm just going to open up the concealer. Oh, 
But I like really would not want to come out of the packaging just then. Okay, I'm going to pop this directly onto my lid. First all over. Okay, it's not even that light on the skin. So if you wanted one of the lighter shades, I would go higher up the number list. So like C4 or something like that. And now I've got that on there, I'm going to take my P. Louise flat brush and just kind of pack this into the lid and also carve out the brow just can't really be bothered to pluck my brows there's a few stray hairs going on I can feel it on my eye that it's drying quite quickly so I think when I use the concealer to go around my face I'm going to work in sections because this is definitely drying quick which is good as an eyeshadow base but it's just something to bear in mind that I would work in sections if you're going for like a full kind of coverage look. Packing that in with the brush making sure it's kind of all even. I have no idea what eyeshadow we look we're doing and we have a huge eyeshadow palette to play with in just a moment so we will see what we come up with. It's really Patting that in, it's going on nicely. Coverage, I would say is like medium, but the pigmentation on my eyes is actually quite strong. Okay, I'm happy with that and it feels nice and tacky, which is actually really good as an eyeshadow base. I'm just gonna zoom you in. Right, so we have a huge eyeshadow palette. This is the XX Explosion shadow palette, which I can barely fit in the frame. It's huge, I'm gonna open it up. This is the outer packaging. I haven't opened any of the products before filming this video. I was very patient, I also just didn't have time. It arrived a few days before launch. The launch of this collection was the 3rd of June. It came a few days before, but it was my birthday, I was ill, etc., etc. So excuses aside, we are here. Right, so this is what the palette looks like on the outer side. It's almost like that. I mean, I know it is just X's all over the palette, but it kind of reminds me of that wallpaper that you used to have like when you're a teenager. I don't know if it was an American thing, but we had it here in England. And it was like that black and white like damask, damask wallpaper. I had it all the time when I was a kid. How can you have a wallpaper all the time? I just had it at one point. Anyway, so this is what the shadow palette looks like. We'll just open her up. Oh, I like that they, I know it's a really simple touch, but they've taped down the protector, which is good because that way it doesn't move around. So I'm just going to pick that off. First initial thoughts, this palette's really pretty. It's not something that I would launch myself personally at, however, I think if you are just getting into makeup and you want something where you have kind of like a lot of variety, then this may be your fancy. I'm trying to get it all in frame for you. So you have these kind of like highlighter, like shimmery kind of shades like all through the middle. They might be a little bit too dark for me to wear as a highlighter. There's some nice shimmers. This shade's really pretty. That's kind of drawing my eye in here. Yeah, this kind of like corally kind of shade and um, there's a mixture of like mattes and cool tones warm tones there's a nice kind of like emerald green right down here so there's definitely a few looks you could do i have no idea what i'm doing today did also get sent this chromatics duochrome pigment pot in the shade ignite which i do believe will be a purple which is amazing because that is my favorite eyeshadow color in the world purple looks good on everyone i love purple okay i'm just gonna get in there so now we've got into the packaging. This is the pigment, it's quite small. You get, no, that's the expiry date. How many grams of product do you get? You get 0.4 grams of product. I'll have the prices with the product descriptions on the screen for you. Okay, so that's a really pretty like shimmery purple. We'll get to that in a moment with like almost like a blue reflect. So I have an idea of what I wanna do. I also have this XX Charge Duo Chrome Eyeshadow, which I do believe is a cream shadow. So we'll also open this up. There's loads of goodies to try. I'm very excited about this new brand and everything that they have to offer. Oh, wow. Okay, that was not what I was expecting it to look like. That is so pretty. What's the shade again? It's called Stimulate Duo Chrome Shadow. Is it like one of the... Okay, I have to use that. <gasps> Oh my god, that's amazing. It's like a beetle. Okay, we're going to use that and then we're also going to use the pigment. That is so cool. Can you see it? It's like green, kind of purple reflect through that. Okay, we're definitely using this because that looks insane. Where do we start, honey? Do I want to put tape down? I'm going to put tape down. Okay, I've just popped a piece of tape down on the outer kind of corner of my eye just so we have that nice kind of sharp edge to the look. So I feel like the look I have in mind now will really go with that. I'm assuming because this palette is such a big palette they don't have shade names but I'm gonna go in with this dark purpley shade right here as my kind of first shadow color just kind of map out the shape of the look and I am taking it on a Morphe M433 brush 
Okay, I've just dipped into the shadow and tapped off the excess. I feel like I'm gonna redo my tape because it's like peeling a little bit. That's better. Okay, so, so I've just kind of pressed out the concealer, making sure there's no creasing. And then I'm literally just going to press this. Oh, okay, that's pigmented, we like it. Just going to press that on the outer kind of section of the eye. Just kind of really pack that color on. I'm kind of bringing it into the lid, just scratching the surface, just kind of really push that into the skin. And then I'll start wiggling my brush just a little bit to blend it in. Am I gonna take it all the way in? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm gonna take it all the way in. Some nice little wiggling motions to repack on that color. That is definitely very pigmented. as a really nice purple. I am enjoying that, really working that through the crease just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Putting it right towards the inner corner. I might cut the crease like moving further towards my nose and I find that helps to open up the eyes a little bit more. Okay, and now what I'm doing is just with no extra product, very lightly blending the edges, just kind of like scratching or like tickling the edges. That way when you put the next shade on, it'll just be easier to blend. I am happy with that blending nicely and bear in mind it's only blending into concealer I think I'm gonna do something that I have no idea if it's gonna work or not but we're gonna give it a go and in my head it feels like it will work but we'll try I'm gonna take this shade right here this sort of like indigo-y bluey teal colour I don't really know how to describe it I'm gonna take this one right here on a fluffy blending brush from Morphe I'm just tapping into the shadow and I'm just going to see if I can almost create like a little bit of a blue blend on top of the purple. I'm very lightly doing this because I feel like with blue kind of toned shadows, if you go too crazy, then that's when it ends up looking a little bit like a black eye. So as you can see, I'm just kind of like tickling the surface just to kind of get it in there. And where you have texture on your eye, the more you kind of just tickle it, it will just push it into the texture on your eye, especially if you pluck your brows. Okay, that's doing what I wanted it to do. So you can see the blue like just above and then it's gonna blend with the purple to make like a bluey kind of purple. Don't worry too much at this point in time because we can go back a few times over and just re-blend and re-intensify the shadows. Okay, and now that's on there, I'm taking a teeny little bit more product. I'm just going to go over the blend very softly and just focusing it on certain areas. So far, so good. It's blending nicely with the purple. Then I'm just gonna dip back into the darker purple shade and just re-intensify what we've just done really and then blend it into the blue. Just cause you want both colors to really show through and because we are sort of going to be cutting the crease, this will definitely help for all of the colors to show through. Just taking the brush that had the blue shade on, but I haven't added any extra product. I'm just going to really softly blend the edges as much as I can with it just having like concealer next to it. I'm actually really happy with those shadows so far. They're nice and pigmented. They're not kind of like chalky or anything like that. Okay, so I've gone back and forth a few good few times with the blue and the purple just to kind of make sure I'm completely happy with it But I do really like this blend. I think that's all for the shadow actually on the lid I will kind of dive into some more shadows maybe at some point So I really really want to use this and I think the best way to do it is just to go straight onto the applicator and then take a brush So this is in the shade stimulate. This just looks so cute, doesn't it? Like it's really dinky dinky stinky word tiny small cute petite okay and then i'm just going to go directly onto the lid with this and i'm basically going to use the little applicator to like almost like cut the crease if i look up it's going to transfer and then we can see how high up we need to take it just smoothing that across that's so pretty almost looks like wet I'm gonna take a little bit more and just pop that on. Good times, 
it looks wet on the lid that is so cool i'm gonna see if it kind of dries a little bit I want to add the pigment on top actually. So this pigment is in the shade Ignite. It was the purple pigment I showed you a second ago. Okay, and then I'm gonna tap some into the lid. Very pretty. I'm gonna go in dry to start off with. I'm just taking it on a low Ella Cosmetics Need to Conceal Chloe brush. Pushing it into the brush to make sure it's nice and coated. That looks so pretty in the pan. And I'm just gonna push that on top of the cream shadow. Hmm. Right, that's going on top of the other shade really nicely. I've got a lot of fallout on my face, but it's a pigment, so what do you expect? I'll clean that up in a moment, though. That looks so pretty, but I'll be honest, I don't think it's layered on top of the cream shadow, like the almost oil slick kind of cream product very nicely so if i was to use this again i would just put it on top of like a normal eyeshadow base because i have a feeling this wouldn't last very long like if you were to if you were to wear it on like a night out or something like that obviously we can't go out right now but you know in the future i definitely think this is beautiful but just on top of a different base that's not oily because i can see it's kind of like separating a little bit on my lid but i do like both products just probably not together next we have the exact eyeliner gel eyeliner pencil in the shade coal which i'm guessing is just their black liner okay so this eyeliner pencil has that really cool like weighted packaging like the eyebrow pencil did that's almost like square i really like this let me know if this is like supposed to be a dupe of anything because i know revolution dupe little things but this for me seems very like original i haven't seen a packaging like this personally before so i really like that let's have a look at it it's just a twist up liner i'm gonna pop it in the water line i mean it went on nice and smoothly but it's definitely not the blackest liner that i have tried i think it would be quite good for just smudging on the top lash line for like a smoky liner look i'm gonna go in with the revolution renaissance liner i love this liner i've used it so many times before so i am i can open it i'm just going to pop on a winged liner just going along the lashes look is actually kind of coming together it reminds me of like a very like oil slick kind of look okay i'm just gonna let that dry for a moment and then i'm gonna peel off the tape lovely and i'm just gonna pop a little bit of the concealer just underneath the lower lash line i kind of wish it was just a bit easier to get out of the tube um like you know the suction bit that stops too much product coming out i'm gonna pop a little bit of that just under the lower lash line just so i can do the shadow and i have like a base to stick to and i'm just going to use the same p louise brush from earlier just to kind of smudge that in doesn't have to be neat because we're going to be putting on face makeup anyway just realized i've got a little bit of fallout like here that i didn't realize so that's a little bit tr more tricky to clean up but i will sort that off camera probably just kind of brush it off and then just have to re-blend a little bit back to the palette now i'm going to take that really kind of purpley berry color that we use as our first shade and just press that into the lower lash line and kind of wiggle it so it just works into the natural creases of my eye and i'm also just going to try and like push it into the lash line as much as i can taking it all the way to the inner corner and then just buffing it out we will kind of touch this up once we've done the face makeup anyway just to kind of really get it on there to start off with now i'm going to give my lashes a quick squeeze with the curler for mascara, I'm taking the Revolution Blowout Mascara. I actually really, really like this mascara. I just really like the brush. I feel like it's good for separating. I don't know why I've put mascara on my lower lashes because we're going to be putting concealer there anyway. And then we're going to have to read it, but it's fine. I haven't filmed in so long, can you tell? Okay, next up, I'm going to put lashes on. These are the Beauty by In Vogue number nine lashes. They're just kind of like wispy, natural-ish lashes. I'm going to go ahead, pop these on, do the other eye, and I'll be right back to do the face. Okay, so we've popped the lashes on and done the other eye. Now it's time for the face. We have three primers to try. So we have the H2 Glow Bomb with 70% water and aloe vera, which is in a pink 
packet. Then we have the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer. Really beautiful packaging. I can't wait to open them actually. And then the Hydra Quench Bomb with 70% in aloe vera. So I'm guessing that's if you really want some hydration. I'm quite intrigued by the Cloud Complexion one, but let's open them all up and have a little look. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can really see that on camera, but the packaging is almost like a duochrome lid. Feels really weighty as well. The whole collection so far, the palette I feel like could have fitted into most Revolution collections, but the skin products that I've tried so far, like, and the brow product, it, they're really like weighty and they feel luxurious, which is really nice. And I think it sets apart from most of the other like Revolution products. Ooh, okay, so this one is the H2 Glow Bomb. And if you can see on the top, it's got like fake like water marks. That's really cool. And then you have a similar one here with the Thirsty Bomb. What is this called again? Hydra Quench, which again has like the fake raindrops all over it. These look really cool, actually. I'm very excited to play with them. I'm going to open them up, actually, have a little look. So you've got H2 Glow, which is... Oh, it even comes with like a little stopper thing. That's the one with like almost like pearlescent like shimmering bits in that looks nice although i'm probably going to be putting on a full coverage foundation anyway so it might cover it up then you've got a hydra quench primer which is the green one this one oh it does come with a cap it's just got stuck in the lid that one looks really cool it's almost like it looks like aloe vera it smells nice too it's like um kind of smells a little bit like the watermelon sweets I would say. Oh, there's the lid. Then you have the cloud complexion one, which is intriguing me. Ooh. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do a phone close up for you now. But the texture of this looks like a cloud. <laughs> I'm going to try this because this is just intriguing me. That looks so cool. So I'm going to pop this all over my face. This one kind of smells like coconut. I don't really know like how much you're supposed to use, but like I'm loving the texture of this. Oh my wow. Oh my wow. I can't like explain the texture. It feels like it's smoothing the skin, but it's kind of like bursting with moisture. This is really cool. Like a really nice texture. And it has a little bit of a tap to it, which is good. Hmm, I like this. Very impressed by those primers. I haven't tried the other ones yet, but I love the cloud complexion one. Moving on to foundation, we have two to try. So we have the, do you know what? I have a ton of foundations. I'm just gonna show you. I don't drop them everywhere. So we have all of these. <laughs> they sent them to me in a variety of shades. So I have the Liquid Skin Foundation and then the Glow Skin Foundation. This one is a medium to full coverage with illuminating pearlescent particles for a glowing skin finish. Or you have the Liquid Skin Foundation, which is a silk finished long wear liquid skin foundation full coverage. I'm gonna go with the full coverage one just because I want to. And then we can try out the glowy foundation in another video. So let me know down below if you would like to see that. I also have another eyeshadow palette that I want to use so let me know if you want to see kind of more reviews on the rest of the products that I haven't got around to using on my face in this video. Here we go. We have 5.5, 5.7, 5.7, F6, FX6, FX7 and I think I'm just going to get them out and have a little look at them. In my normal kind of revolution conceal and hydrate foundation I am, F, I am F7 or 8.5. Seven, something like that. So let's just have a little look and I shall pick a shade. After a little bit of pondering, I have picked the shade FX6, which looks like this. The packaging is lovely and I do think it is glass sounds like glass to me just to bear that in mind if you're super clumsy but the packaging is gorgeous it's like the frosted design i'm gonna go in with fx6 i'm gonna use a brush today this is the la Boit soyer brush from the barbie pink brush set i'll link it down below for you so i'm gonna pop this all over the face just using the buffing brush on my fingers i will say the primer kind of like is it called pill pilling on my finger but it hasn't done it on my face um, that's a bit of fluff, so I'm hoping it doesn't do that because then that could be a disaster, but I will let you know. Here we go. Okay, it's a little bit too pale, but I feel like, as always, we can make it work. This is going a long way though because a lot of the product will be absorbed into the brush but like look how far i'm taking it across my face i think i'm going to switch to a 
sponge. I'm whipping out the setting spray a little bit early. This is the Face Fix Moisturising Fixing Mist, just to wet my sponge because I can't be bothered to go to the bathroom. Ooh, I like the packaging. A lot of my reactions to the packaging have been, ooh, this is really nice, like that holographic kind of effect. I've just spritzed my Spicy Choco Kush Bend sponge. I'm just going to use the sponge to work it into the skin. I think the brush method I find works better for a lower coverage foundation, but when it's full coverage, I feel like I like to use a sponge because then it makes it kind of sink into the skin a bit nicer. Yeah, so much better already. Okay, this foundation is heavy duty. I did not expect that at all. So if you're using this, maybe just start off with a little bit less than I did because it's gonna take a while to blend out. I'm really liking the finish of it though once you use it with a sponge. Uh, I think the brush kind of smears it around the face a bit, but I guess it's down to personal preference. I look a little bit crazy right now because I didn't realize that that foundation would be so light and also so full coverage. So full coverage, it is definitely full coverage. That is intense. It reminds me a lot of the Urban and decay or nighter foundation but it doesn't set as quickly which is kind of a good thing because it doesn't set into fine lines as easily the urban decay one really settles into my forehead lines for concealer i've chosen the shade 6.5 um just because out of all of the shades i've got it looks like the lightest and this foundation is very light so i'm going to pop it on my chin under my eyes and my forehead and then blend it out with the same sponge I'm definitely not a fan of the stopper in the actual tube itself. I wish it was just a bit easy to take out because I keep splattering, splattering the concealer everywhere. Well, let's test out the actual formula. Hmm, it's kind of pulling at the foundation here a little bit, but once you keep blending, it works back in together. This foundation and concealer combo is intense. So if you're not like a full coverage, cover every freckle kind of person, this may be a little bit much for you, but I do really like the formula. I think this is something that I'd use on like a night out where you really want that like full coverage kind of vibe. I don't know what that meant but um i think the shade range probably maybe have a look online before picking because i definitely thought this one would match but i feel like it's a little bit too pale so that's something to bear in mind i think if this is f6 i probably could have gone with the seven shade okay so we don't have a revolution powder just for this video but i'm just going to set my face using the aoa studio powder i'm just going to use the brush i Gonna use for bronzer just kind of push this into the skin mainly focusing on like the oily areas so my chin and my forehead I'm just gonna take a cotton bud and some acetyl water and just take off the foundation off my lips. Just because this look, I'm not actually wearing any lipstick, so I want to put some lip balm on to prep them. Then I'm just gonna pop on some lip balm. This one is from So Natural Cosmetics. Next for bronzer, we have the Gravitate Complexion Palette, which has three different shades in it. So you get a highlight shade, a bronzer shade, and a blush shade. We'll be using the bronzer and the blusher. This is what the packaging looks like, and you can do this on it, which just like really excites me. I don't know why. So it's like a pink packaging. Again, feels super weighted and lovely. This, I think, reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, but I've never actually tried them myself. So you get a bronzer, a blush, and then a highlight, but I'm not going to use a highlight. I'm going to use another one. I'm just going to go in with this bronzer shade on the same brush. By the way, this is the Morphe M401. And I'm just going to bronze up the outer perimeters of my face. I feel like this is going to be very pigmented, so I'm going to like tap off the excess like quite a bit and then also kind of stamp it on the back of my hand as well very pigmented but blends in nicely A nice tone and it's actually not going like blotchy or anything which i was a little bit worried about because it looked very pigmented and i don't really like a pigmented bronzer because then it's easier to mess it up but this is going very lovely it's going very lovely 
Okay, next we're going to go in with the blush shade, which is right here on a Loella Cosmetics Contour Diva KT brush. And it's got some apples of my cheeks. It's kind of like a pink, Barbie pink with like reflex running through it. I'm not too sure if it's going to be shimmery or not. One tap on the back of my hand. Okay, it's definitely got shimmer in it, so just bear that in mind. Okay, I'm not a fan of this as a blush, but I think it would be pretty as a highlight. It does look really nice, it's just I'm not a fan of shimmery blushes, but it looks pretty, but I don't think I'd wear it as a blush day to day. I might even wear it as like a highlight topper, like just there. Right, so next up we have setting spray. So I've got the face fixed. I'm gonna pop this all over the face. It kind of smells a little bit like coconut, so I'm kind of excited to use it. Oh, that was incredibly fine mist. I can barely feel it. Next, we have two highlighters to try and choose from. This is the Exposure Highlighter Multi Dimensional Powder, one in the shade Strobe and one in the shade Focus. I'm going to open them up and see what they look like. So, that took me forever to get them out of the packaging because my nails are just ruined after lockdown and like DIY manicures and stuff like that. So, like, I tried to peel it and then, like, my nail pink. It was just a long story. Anyway, moving on to things that are more relevant. This is the shade Strobe and this is the shade Focus. Focus is is more of a light gold and then you've got strobe which is more of like a pearly kind of champagne color i'm gonna go with focus which is the gold shade okay i'm just gonna take my little highlighter brush and pop this onto my cheekbones above the brow nose that kind of thing oh that's nice i've always loved revolution highlighters Okay, that highlighter is gorgeous. I haven't wet my brush or anything and look how blinding that is. I will definitely go for this on like an everyday basis. That is gorgeous. Last up, we've got a lip gloss. I've already got lip balm on, but this is the Strike, what is this called? Where is the packaging? This is the Strobe Liquid Lip Gloss in the shade Strike, which I've just said. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my lips to finish off the look. And I'm not gonna do liner with this lip gloss just purely because I've kind of done the outline with the cotton bud earlier and also I don't want to get the lip liner in the lip gloss I want this to be like a clear gloss oh I like this it's just got subtle flecks of glitter in it shiny it doesn't feel like sticky it just kind of feels like another lip balm really like that so this is the finished look that i came up with using the xx revolution products you've kind of seen in my thoughts and feelings through the video but i absolutely love everything i've tried there's nothing i've like hated i think the duochrome duochrome the kind of cream shadow I think is really cool but you just need a little bit of it I think goes a long way otherwise you end up kind of risking it creasing into your lids it's something to bear in mind the pigment is lovely as well just when I was tapping it out I like got it all over my hand but that's totally not the pigment's fault concealer I love I think I need to try a lighter shade of the concealer like a really light one and then maybe like a darker oh I nearly dropped it a darker shade of the foundation as well but yeah really 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 impressed with everything you definitely need the primer this this is so nice like this feels like like whipped butter cloud marshmallow fluff I can't even explain it like this is so nice I'm really excited to try the other primers definitely let me know if you want me to do another video I've got this palette here which is the Quartz Crystal XX Shadow Palette which I believe is a pink kind of tinted palette so I could do this with the glow foundation another primer and the other highlighter so let me know if you want to see that on my channel and I'll get around to it for you I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you made it this far congratulations well done give yourself a thumbs up and me a thumbs up while you're at it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it means the absolute world it really does and I like I said at the beginning of the video I am now suddenly a kind of full-time YouTube YouTuber <laughs> YouTuber so this is like my only kind of thing going on at the moment which was a bit of a shock to the system but I would really appreciate your support if you enjoy my videos obviously I'm not gonna force you to but if you've made it this far then it probably means you have enjoyed it I don't know anyway I really hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching I should see you next time